Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's like seeing Katrina with the Pelican Girls and today is set up day for our fall Magnolia Town Market. Magnolia Town Market is a extension extension of the Pelican Girls where we host vendor market, upscale boutique style vendor market. This is our second one at this venue. We love this venue. So we're gonna take you along as we set up. It is, um, what is it, 11.30 right now? We got her at 11. We've done a couple things, but the main thing that we have to get done before one o'clock, which is when vendors are coming in, o'clock, two o'clock, um, the main thing we have to get done is we have to get all of this floor marked out for the vendor booths. Um, I already did the edges by myself, those are easy, but this middle part is not. We do have the littlest Pelican girl here today. I guess she wanted to say hi. <laughs> she is going everywhere in her little walker um so that's what we're doing and then i'm gonna flip it around and show you all a few things and then we're gonna get started on the layout okay you guys so this is the lobby of our venue that is the entrance that is where our customers are gonna come in and this is the door as you can see they have us up there the Norway Town market this is the door that they will enter in. Mama is doing some all important social media posts. We Gotta keep posting. Six followers. Woo! 4.5. This right here is going to be our table where we're going to take money for tickets. We're gonna have our merch here. It's gonna be like base camp, headquarters, whatever for us. Look, we even have a mic, you guys. How official. Um, check out the ceiling. So we didn't ask for this, we just. They left it for us and it is amazing. I hope the video is doing it justice. So then here is gonna be our photo backdrop, just kinda Magnolia Town Market sign and everything if people wanna do a photo. In that corner is where our singers are going to be singing. And then all of this is where all 58, we had 59, we had someone drop out this morning. 58 of our vendors are going to be um, so these things right here are for electricity. Middle here is 47 vendors, I believe. We have to mark off about <laughs> about 55 booths, I think, 56 booths. So we do that, just the two of us, because we are awesome and we can't find help. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. How nice is this? Um, we have those two rolly doors back there where people can load, the vendors can load up, so. Super, super nice place. We love it here. And uh, the most stressful part of the entire, the entirety of putting on a market, in my opinion, is putting the layout down. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah, the rest of it's fine. After that, you're fine. But to, to make sure that the layout is right and that everyone has a spot is stressful. You know how many times I've measured and calculated? I know that it's correct. However, until we have it all down, I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> It's 2.40. I don't even know what my camera picked up because it kept shutting off while we were doing the layout and we got it done and our vendors are here setting up. So, I'm gonna take y'all around and show y'all a little bit of what's going on. So as you can see, we use, we use painter's tape to mark the boundaries and I have a super sophisticated index card showing where their boots are. 
uh, we make like little four pods. They're all back to back, side to side, and then in between the next pod, we have a little bit of breathing space here so that this person can kind of get out and we don't like to be like on top of each other too much anyway. Lots of vendors already out here setting up. I'm gonna take y'all outside and show y'all the outside of the venue and where we are. So nice. We have this nice covered area right here. It's supposed to rain later, so tomorrow. So hopefully that doesn't deter people. All right. So now we're just setting up the backdrop. Backdrop. We got some pumpkins. Look at these like warty pumpkins. Those are my favorites. It's just gonna be really simple. Really simple. Just something to brand us, and in case anyone wants to take some pictures, post on social media. Look at all. Good thing we own a, uh, a vintage boutique, so we have all access to all this stuff. And it's all for sale. <laughs> we need a sign that says, everything you see is for sale. Oh, some of it's not. Some of it's not. Like, save me. <laughs> Over here against the wall. Yes, me. I think, think you're the third table down. Guys, it looks so cute. Hey, how are you? Good, how are y'all? Thank you for coming. Thank you. Yes, we're so excited y'all got in. Mm -hmm. I just love these bags. These are so cute. I keep looking at them.
Yes. Give yourself time to freak out a little bit. <laughs> Everybody needs a little freak out sometimes. Man, you even got some Christmas music going for the vibe. Bro, we're about to have it going. <laughs> we got some interactive stuff too. You wanna do that? You wanna do that for me? She got stage fright. Yeah. She's like, what? Are you I did not know it was on when you were doing what that. Are you <laughs> Hey guys, so it is after seven. All of the vendors have gone home. There might be one or two kind of stragglers. Um, and my mom is actually over there. She's going live. She's showing um, all on Facebook, live on Facebook. She's showing everybody like a sneak peek of what we have. This was a huge hit last market we had here because people were coming in and being like, oh, I saw this on your live last night and I had to come get it. Huge thing for us to go live several times and especially now that all the vendors, they haven't finished, all of the booths aren't finished of course because they still have a couple hours in the morning, but a lot of them are pretty close. So we like to show customers like what you need to come by. We are exhausted, it's been a long day. It's been a fun day though, the stressful part's over now. We get to enjoy just having fun tomorrow and seeing the customers and watching our vendors have a successful day. She's done with her live. We're gonna kick out the last couple of vendors and head home and we will be back up here at 7 a.m. So we'll see you there, bye. Hey guys, so it's the morning, Saturday morning and it's 8.20, the vendors are here. They're getting their final setup going up. So I'm gonna take y'all around and show y'all before the crowds get here. Hopefully there's a lot of crowds. So we got my, got my partner back there. My little boy would have never, never. <laughs> How long she's gonna last? It's so nice. <laughs> everybody you're just feel so much better too like not only am I getting a nice gift but I'm helping someone that we know
It's crazy, um, and there was only three of us working, so it really like, we, we focused re the whole time. Yeah, we really need at least one more person for our market. Yeah, at least one. And the good thing is that that meant that it was a good market. We, we, we were. It well. was busy, y'all. It was really, really busy. The one day event. It's open from nine to five. We had over twelve hundred people come through the door, which is amazing. That was over 300 more than our previous show that we had in May, so growing, you know. We had so many vendors compliment us and so many vendors like, are right, ready for the next one yeah. and talked about our advertising and marketing because we just like spam Facebook the two weeks leading up to it. You've got it right now, um, your advertising with your uh, vendor spotlight. The way you did it this time to where it like, it never gave them a chance not to think about the market. Right, but it wasn't you the were, same thing over it, and over. But again. it wasn't. It wasn't the same thing, and it wasn't so much that it was like, oh my god, they didn't even stop this. Yeah. So basically, what, what I, I was doing was I was doing vendor spotlights, and I really didn't even call it that. I was just like introducing whatever product, and we really like to hear and to share about the behind the scenes of the vendors. So there is one part on our application where it says like a detailed description of your business. And we have suggestions of like, how did you start? Is it full time? Things like that. And sometimes our vendors don't put that much. Sometimes they literally just put clothing boutique. But sometimes they put in like how they got started. And it's just so nice to see. It's very interesting. Yes. I, think, I think customers thrive on that. Yes. I and would. Like, like I the paragraph. Would. You know, yeah. saying how they got started, saying uh, it started out of my home and now I'm doing a show every week. Or I started this with my mom or, you know, I also do this or I have these kids and it just, it puts a face to the product. I mean, that's something that we work on with everything we do yes. is like putting a face, making everything more personal. So what I do is I take pictures that they have of their products. Hopefully they send a picture with themselves and their products. Those are our favorites, because again, the face. And then I take that detailed description and I put it and I link their Facebook page if they have one. And I schedule those out like the week and a half, I guess I started before, before our show. Before the market. Schedule it out for like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, an hour to two hours throughout the day, like starting at nine in the morning to nine at night, every day. And, and, and I think our customers love it because they know what to expect when they come and they start their Christmas list. I really think that people are like, okay, I'm going to this booth, this booth, this booth. I know they're there. I know that I can get Chris, start yes. my Christmas shop. I know this person will like this. I yes. know this person will like this. Yes. And I also think that that's important because I think if someone goes to a uh, market and they, they know Any I'm already going to spend money, event, I think. like they're going, they're like, I'm for sure going to spend money on this item. Mm -hmm. I think they're more apt to spend money altogether. It, 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 this is what it changes. It changes. Um, customers into buyers that's what I think it does because whenever our our the difference I see with our markets and other markets or other whatever is that we have buyers come to our markets everyone leaves out with a bag full of stuff it's not like oh well, I came and I looked around and I didn't find anything we have those we do right not saying we don't but I'm telling y'all, I have never seen a market where people buy. No, we have one vendor, she's a jewelry vendor. She's been a jewelry vendor for years. This, she's not new. She's been in lots of different markets. One particular market that she does, they see like tens of that, like what, 15,000 oh, people yeah, come they, to the they, door. They claim, two day they, they claim 10 to, to 15,000. Yeah, it's a two day people. event, yeah. all right? She does better, she did better. This was her best show at our market in eight hours in one day than any show she's ever done, ever. 
And she does that show every and year. And she does that show every year. And so, and all, and we saw her this year at that show, and she still said that she was nowhere near what she made in our one day event. And so that one tells day. you right there that these people are coming. We might only get 1,200, but we're getting 1,200, and the majority of them are, are buying. buying. They're there to buy. They're not going to look around. They didn't come just to be nosy. They have been watching for two, three weeks now. Oh, yeah. Everything Mom. that's coming. Oh, yeah. And they said, okay, well, I'm going and I want this and I want this. And they'll literally tell us, like, I saw your video. Because that's something else we did. Oh, yes. During the event, we go live, oh, I don't know, 10 times? Yes. We go and live a lot. When we go live and we talk about this. And every, not everyone, but almost everyone that comes through the door will say, we, we, we watched your video last night. This is why we're here. We came. Mm -hmm. We're ready to shop. We're ready to buy stuff. Because they watched our video. And we go, we like, we show the products. So it's almost like they're sitting at their house shopping yeah. before they come Making and shop. List. And, and it's a guarantee, too, that they're going to find something they like. So we're not getting people who, oh, we don't know what you have. We're just coming through. And then right. they get there and it's not what they want. People coming know what we're going to have. Oh, so yeah. they're coming to they're, buy. They're coming to buy. Y'all, I'm... It, you would not believe the bags that go out yeah. full. And, and not just that, people are leaving because we have um, bracelets. We have uh, bracelets, so if, once you pay, you can come back in because the bathrooms are in the foyer area. We have people that go out to their car, they'll make a load and they'll come back in and they'll shop again. Or they'll go get somebody or they'll go and pick come back up. later in a couple hours. And that's another thing too. I heard a lot this year, People saying, okay, I'm gonna go, can I, I'm going to pick up somebody or we're going, we're going to meet somebody and then we're coming back to shop again. Mm -hmm. Because yep. they have come through, they've shopped, mm -hmm. and they're calling people and saying, look, you got to come. They have this, this, and this. You can get your Christmas shopping done. You can get your Christmas shopping started. Yeah. Or they have this vendor. I've never seen this vendor before. Or, or just things oh. like that. We are very blessed that this was... A very very yes. successful market. Yes, it was. It was definitely. I think it was our most successful oh, so yes. far. Oh yeah. Even we might have had one that was bigger. However, the venue was different. We didn't get to charge at the door. There was a lot of different dynamics to that one. But I think for like us and the progress we're doing, this was our by far biggest one. Mm -hmm. It was so fun to see it grow. And okay, so then this is something we've never done before either. We had the application for our upcoming one. This one is in May of 2023. Which is Mother's Day weekend. Yeah. Which is fabulous. Here, let me over. So, usually we have the application coming out like a couple months later. Like, usually for our end of the year one, we'll say like January 1st is when we'll we do We usually the give ourselves a break. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, it's a lot of work. Um, but this year we decided let's just have the application ready. And this is why, because last year, um, our last market for May market, we had vendors coming up wanting to apply for the next one, like in that moment. And one of those at least didn't end up applying. So we're like, we could have caught him we could, well, he in that moment. Just, yeah, he could have just filled out the application. Um, so right we decided that we were going to change that and have the applications ready for the day of the market. So when we were done with the market, we got to announce, hey, if you had fun today, if you enjoyed the market, <laughs> you can go apply right now. Do you all know that we had two vendors apply on their way home? Yes. Okay, so they must have done really good to apply on their way home. 11 vendors total apply within four days. Oh, yeah. We have 11 booked right now, and we have a couple of other ones that we need to send. Um, she really likes acceptance. tripods, yeah. we need to, I need to send an acceptance text, too, so we can send them an invoice. So you're talking about 13 vendors booked, and it's not till next year. On our event page that we post... We have over a hundred people interested or going. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, y'all. We have nothing listed on there. It, it, it makes you feel good when you find when it's finally showing the growth and the work that you put in. Especially after it's the finally whole paying pandemic. off. And yeah, I mean we had we went through the the COVID and we went through all the other stuff. So hurricane that, and two hurricanes too. So that slowed us down. So being able to finally see that stuff's paying off in a big way. Yeah. It's really exciting. Really exciting. We only had one vendor end up not being able to make it. And we actually filled that spot the the, the day, day of, before the market. The day before. The Friday someone, the setup day. Yeah. Uh, with, with which a good, was nice. With, yeah, with a very good, very yeah. good little, um, vendor. One person sold, um, what did she sell, 75 wreaths? 
Yes. In eight hours? 75 another, earrings. 100, 150 uh, ear, pairs of earrings. 150 pair of earrings. And that's not the same vendor that had the best. No, 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 no. That no. was a different earring vendor. That was a different earring vendor. Yeah. We had a cookie lady. She sold 800, oh, 800 cookies. Some cookies. We had yes. macarons. They sold 1,100. And both of them were done by 1 p.m. Yeah. So they, they were sold that in four hours. They were completely sold out. We had like the oil and vinegar lady um, had maybe like three or four bottles left. Yep. That she, that, that, that's all they had. They brought inventory for the day and that's all they had left. Then we had people who make turmeric products, like oils and stuff, and they went back to their, they have a storefront in. They went, I think they went back twice. Twice. And, and got bring more product. Yeah. So we are very thankful for, um, and it's not just the local people in Sulphur that came out. It's like, we had people from, we have people from all over the place. Like people come, we're the where the West Cow is located. It's right off the interstate. It's a fantastic yeah. location. The location is perfect. The venue is beautiful. The bathrooms are clean. You know, just all the stuff like that. So we can't ask for a better place. We're really enjoying it, and I think our customers are really enjoying. It. And it's an indoor market, y'all. In Southwest Louisiana, the weather. We're, I'm I'm keep looking out the window right here. The weather. It's like. Right, today we're having like this sprinkly, drizzly weather, and earlier it was, the sun was out. So our Southwest Louisiana weather is so unpredictable, and that is why it completely went to indoor. And we thank, we thank yeah. God every day that we did, because we are seeing so many little um, events and stuff that are being canceled, they're being pro postponed, they're being rescheduled, and we did that. We, we postponed and we rescheduled um, because we were doing outdoor and that is just not. So yeah, we had, it was fun, it was a blast, it was rewarding. So that's always a fun thing too, is like seeing, like when vendors come up and they're like, this was so great, thank you, or they say, your advertising is so great, or this was such a calm, that's what someone else said too, this was such a calm, calm and low key, relaxing, relaxing yeah. environment. Yeah. They weren't stressed. Well, guys, when we're gonna shut it down here, we just wanted to kind of do an update um, about the end of the market and kind of close it out because I just stopped filming. <laughs> we got busy. I feel like that's a lot of our videos. But it's anyway, on to the next one. Yes. we're gonna. We really need to get better. If we can get at least one more person to help work at, work at the door, we can get so much better at. Yeah. Video, video it and showing y'all more of our markets mm -hmm. and showing y'all how. You know, even showing them how a market, you know, is run. It's run. And it's run. there the whole time. Yes. This we is, do it. We do. <laughs> actually, there's, there. there are three of us. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's at every estate sale we go to, every the market. She was but there. That's just something on top of what we yeah. do. But, okay. Yeah. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we will be putting out new content. We yes. Promise. Join our family. We are... Oh, we're, we're crazy, but it's fun. It, 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 yeah, we have a lot more coming. Bye, thank y'all. Bye. Bye. <laughs>